Hi everyone, welcome back to our small engine repair tutorial. Today we have a Makita ER2650 LX4 stroke trimmer. Today I'm going to show you how to rebuild this carburetor. Let's get started. To rebuild the carburetor, we need to remove the air filter cover and then do the screw. Remove the air filter. Using a T25 Torx, remove the two screws that holds the carburetor. And remove the total cable out from the carburetor. Now remove the fuel line and the return line and also the fuel line of the intake. Now we have the carburetor removed. The tools that we need to rebuild this carburetor are we need a carburetor cleaner, the small Phillips head screwdriver the big Phillips head screwdriver, new or used toothbrush, tweezer for holding small parts, gasket or diaphragm, knife for scraping, uh, measuring gauge, and steel brush. To rebuild this carburetor, we need a clean container for all the clean parts. We need a rebuild kit to change the old and hardened metering diaphragm, metering gasket, fuel pump diaphragm, fuel pump gasket, and o-rings. You can use the new manifold gasket or the old one. This rebuild kit will replace the Walbro D11 WYL gasket and diaphragm kit. You can purchase this kit from online store. For Australian customers, you can purchase the rebuild kit from our EV store or our variety website. Go to our EB store and click carburetor and parts. Diaphragm and gasket kit. Walbro. And look for Walbro replacement D11WIL gasket and diaphragm kits. If you want a complete rebuild kit, you can also use the K20WIL. Go to carburetor and parts. Then Carburetor Rebuild Kit, Walbro, and look for Walbro Replacement K20 WYL. Now we have to remove all four screws on the bottom and two screws on the top. Now to remove this screw, we have to undo or release the idle screw. This side here must line up on the middle of the screw when you put it back. Now you can remove the cover. This is the fuel pump. This is the fuel pump gasket and diaphragm. This is the metering diaphragm and metering gasket. You can separate the metering diaphragm. Which already is sticked into the gasket. So just remove the gasket. The 
separate this one. Now remove the fuel pump diaphragm and gasket. And careful not to lose that spring. We can remove the, the jet. And also the O-ring. So we can remove the throttle. Now we have to remove the metering lever. To remove the metering lever, hold the metering lever and then do the screw that holds the metering pin. Then gradually release the metering lever. So we have the metering lever there and pin. And we have the spring. Make sure that you don't lose the spring. And also the needle bulb. So you can leave that screw there. Now we have to clean this part here. And also we have the fuel mesh. Make sure you don't lose our fuel mesh, we'll take it out just to make sure that we don't lost it. Now we have to clean the remaining gasket that sticks into the carburetor body. Using a steel brush, just clean them. Now we have this carburetor, just clean it with a carburetor cleaner and clean all the jets. And that small so you have we have to spray all these tiny um, holes here and also the check bulb the check bulb how it works is there is a tiny hole in here in the middle and we need to spray that and we should be able to see the the carburetor cleaner is coming out so the back of the check valve 
but when we spray to check that to check if the check valve, check valve is good if you spray from this side the carburetor cleaner shouldn't go through that hole there so it stopped the fuel or carburetor cleaner from going the other direction and it should only go on this direction here So you can see that the carb clean is going backwards. So it doesn't go through that hole there. Now we have to clean this body with the toothbrush. Also check this uh, three tiny holes here. If we, if the carb cleaner will pass through these tiny holes, so when you spray the, with the carb cleaner here, that the carb cleaner should go out through that uh, check valve. Now, using a compressed air. Make sure you don't blow compressed air through the check valve as it, as it will damage the check valve. And also don't blow compressed air through these tiny holes here. Now we have to clean the upper carburetor body. Now we have to clean the, th the throttle. Now we have to clean the the pump check valve. Now we have to clean the fuel check valve.
To clean the small parts, place all the small parts into the T strainer, including jet, green needle, the metering lever, and the spring. Spray with a carbon cleaner and just shake it. Now place them into the clean container. So inside the so inside the so inside the T strainer we have the steel wall here just used to clean the small parts. So place all of them inside and careful to remove the, the spring. So the metering spring here, just carefully remove it because sometimes it's stuck into that steel bowl. And also the remaining screws place into the T strainer. and place it into the clean container. Here is the fuel mesh. Make sure you don't lose this one, especially when you spray this one with the compressed air. So spray this with the carbon cleaner. And hold this one against the table and just place in a clean container now we have the rebuild kit now looking on the old one we need to find a similar uh, gasket we don't have to use all all of them we just use um, uh, at least four of them so we have this uh, metering diaphragm we need that so the metering gasket This is a fuel pump diaphragm and the fuel pump gasket.
Okay, first is we need to install the metering lever. So place the metering pin inside the metering lever. Hold the metering lever from one end. Take the metering spring and place it in the middle. Put this on one side. Okay, hook the metering lever into the needle valve. And gradually place it onto the direct to the metering spring and hold it. Hold it in place while while we have to tie the screw. Now, put the fuel mesh Now insert the o-ring into the jet. And place into the place the fuel pump gasket first then the spring then the fuel pump diaphragm make sure that this will lines are properly into that uh, guide when you place this one in on top so. next is to place the metering gasket first make sure that this hole here will line up with the hole on the carburetor body then the metering diaphragm make sure th this this part here facing towards the the metering lever so make sure that the, the hole here will lines up with the hole here then the primal bulb and the retaining plate put the screws back
then tight, tighten all, tight all the screws. Okay, that's all for today. Now we have the fully rebuilt carburetor. Insert the fuel line into the return line and the intake way from the fuel filter to the intake of the carburetor. Now place the carburetor against the air filter base. Insert the two screws. Now place the original gasket back. Where do you have the mark? Against the carburetor. Now insert the two screws back into the manifold. And tighten the screws. With this uh, throttle cable, just push that and place the throttle cable into the swivel. Place the air filter back and the air filter cover. That's it. Thanks for watching our video repair tutorial for today. I hope you enjoy our videos. Please give us a big thumbs up if you found it useful and informative. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. And see you next time.